Hello guys and welcome back to another Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode we're going to be going over how to create custom armour for your mod. So let's get started. First things first we're going to go into our item list and we're going to create the armour um, items itself. Just create four more items generically. So helmet, chest fit, leggings and boots there. Next we're going to create a new enum called armour material list. This is going to be very similar to tool material list. It stores the properties of our armor. Um, so create it, armor material list. And this is going to implement I armor material. Put a semicolon there, as we haven't created a single item, a single entry yet. And then add the constructor. In here we're going to create some parameters, the name, string name, is just the name of your armor material, then the durability of your armor, int durability, this is to do with how much damage your armor can take or withstand, um, an int array, this is called damage reduction amounts. And it's to do with how much damage um, each part of your armor can block. Then the enchantability. Just like I said in the tools tutorial, um, gold armor in Minecraft has a higher enchantability than the other armors, which means it can get better enchantments at lower levels. Then the repair item. Then the equip sound, which is a string and the toughness. This is a property that in default Minecraft only the diamond armor has and just add some extra protection to then once again just like in the other um, tool material list we need to create private versions of each of these things so private string uh, name and equip sound and so on and so forth. And then inside of the constructor, set each parameter equal to its variable. Then hover over armor material list and add all the unimplemented methods. We need to add one more variable, which is called the max damage array. And this is to do with the durability of each piece of armor. Um, and it's used to calculate how much durability each one gets based off of the durability value. So down here, the first thing you want to do is change arg0 to slot. As this is the entity equipment slot, there's, four, there's six different types of slots. There's left hand, main hand, um, head, chest, legs, and feet. Obviously referring to the four um, armor locations there. So you're going to want to return this dot damage reduction amounts open some square brackets, slot.getindex, which gets the damage reduction amount for that piece of armor. The durability, you're going to run to return max damage array, um, open square brackets, slot.getindex, multiplied by this.durability. Get enchantability, just return this.enchantability, Get name, return tutorial mod or your main mod class dot mod ID plus a colon plus this dot name. Get repair material. We're going to want to return ingredient dot from items this dot repair item for the sound event you want to return a new sound event new resource location equip sound and for the toughness return this dot toughness so now we've got the enum set up up here you can create your own arm material i'm going to call it tutorial 
Then you can input the parameters. So tutorial as the name. The durability, I'm going to go with 400, but you can mess around with this value and figure out what's best for you. For the damage reduction amounts, new int array, open some curly brackets, and then put the values that you want in here. I'm going to put 8, 10, 9, and 7 but you can obviously change these values to suit what you want. Then the enchantability, I'm gonna put 25, just like the uh, tools. The repair item, item list dot tutorial item. The equip sound, to find a full list of the sounds, you can go into your reference libraries, net minecraft uh, util, and then this sound event. And here's a full list of all the Minecraft sounds that you can use um, in your thing. In a future video, I will show you how to create custom sounds so you can use your own custom sound. But for now, you can get any of these things. I'm gonna have the entity.enddragon.growl. So that sound will play um, whenever I um, equip my armor. And then the toughness, I'm gonna put 0.0f as I don't want any toughness on my armor but you can mess around with that value again and figure out what it does um, for your armor and figure out if it's appropriate for you. So now we've created the armor materials, um, we can go and register our armor. Item list dot tutorial helmet is equal to a new item armor. All the items, uh, all the armor items are registered under the same item class and it takes in an armor material, so armor material list dot tutorial. It takes in an entity equipment slot, so entity equipment slot dot head, and then it takes in the item dot properties, which you can copy just like normal, and obviously change this to tutorial helmet. And that is created. Do the same thing for all three, um, more remaining armor pieces. And there we are, my four armor pieces are registered. You're going to need to do the normal things. So um, add them to your lang file. So there, that is my lang file there. You can just create items for them, just like the normal um, tutorial item. So copy that four times and create an item for e a model for each of them. So all the item models are created there. And then we need to add a texture for each of them as well. So there we are, we have textures for all of them. The final thing we need to do is actually create a texture for the how the armor looks while we're on the player. Currently, um, we don't have anything for that. We just have the items, that, how they look when they're in your hand. When they're equipped to the player, it'll just create an error, a texture error. So what we need to do, inside of textures, create a new package called dot models dot armor. Has to be spelled in the American way without a U. And then go back to paint.net again. Go into your default textures again. Then go into models, armor, and get iron layer one and iron layer two. And these are like the um, the textures for like, this is the legs here, and this is the, the helmet and the chest plate and the boots. And they're all like kind of spread out. So either each side of the thing and that'll be applied by Minecraft to everything that needs to be applied to. So I'm just going to go over these in an orange overlay. And then I'm going to save this inside of um, my tutorial mod, main resources, assets, tutorial mod, textures, models, armor, and call it tutorial underscore layer underscore one. And then do the same thing for layer two and then um, put that in the same location, just call it layer two. Go back into Eclipse, put F5 to refresh, and those textures should be in there. And once you've done all that, you should be able to run your game, and your armor should be in the game. In your creative tab, you should find all your armor, and if you apply it to your person, it should look like this. As you can see, 
my armor values are very large. I've got the chest plate and the leggings and the boots. And they have lots of armor protection. My armor is much stronger than diamond armor again. So you need to adjust these values accordingly. So anyway guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. My name's been Harry and goodbye.